Well, if there's one place in Vietnam that has everything right from beautiful beaches, a lit city life with a lot of cafes, delicious food, romantic vibes, hills just a few kilometers away and what not, it's Hoi An. And it must not be missed on your trip to Vietnam. So it's finally time to leave Nha Trang now and now we have an internal flight towards Da Nang. Uh, da Nang se 40 minutes ki cab ride leke hum Hoi An jayenge. And uh, ab ek nai city ki taraf chalte hain. Dekhte hain what that has to offer, what Hoi An has to offer. <laughs> Okay, so we've made it at the airport and uh, our flight is 2.30 p.m. Ke and it's just 12.40 and we're done with everything, check-in, security, pe kahin pe bhi, even though it's a Saturday, but there's no line in the airport. And the um, airport is very small, it's really easy to locate everything here. So I feel like internal flights is also a great option to travel within Vietnam, just like the train, the train option was. a very kind man at the airport, chatted for a while and since he was also proceeding towards Hoi An, he offered us a lift to our hostel. Thank you so much for your okay. help, that was really kind of you. Thank you. Can you try this one, Mr. Danny What's that? The The lady at our hostel recommended us this vegetarian restaurant which was in a narrow lane and not very easy to locate. So please make a note of it if you're a vegetarian because the food here was so delicious and reasonably priced. So we are very lucky that we are in Hoi An for the Lantern Festival and not just that, today is the grandest annual festival which is called Mid-Autumn Day. The uh, celebrations very se start ho jate children are specifically excited for it and so are we. So this festival happens on the 15th day of the 8th month and the calendar you follow karte hai, uske se New Year February, mein hota hai, so it makes sense because it's September now and uh, that's all the information that I have about the festival right now and I'm so so excited to actually go and experience the celebration. So let's go. On this boat ride, you have an option that you can take a candle ho and you can uh, make it float in the river and you can make a wish. So that's how we do it and I just did it and I mean, it's just a very beautiful feeling being on this boat and uh, looking around, looking at all the colourful cafes, colourful bridge, smiling people <laughs> and the full moon. late, so fun, also very crowded and it was the last day yesterday. Uh, so, today is our official day in Hoi An and we are very excited and the first thing that we are set to do is actually hit the beach because just like Nha Trang, uh, Hoi An also has some very beautiful beaches and now we are going to Anbang Beach. Anbang Beach which is 7 minutes drive from our hostel, cheerful Hoi An hostel and speaking of the hostel I have to say that already both of us feel so good at the hostel right? Yeah, the lady there is super super friendly and she's really nice, yeah. she's really helpful. She, she is honestly the star of the hostel yeah. and the food, the breakfast, we are very very happy we are staying there and uh, now let's Anbang Beach, let's see how that goes. Wow, so beautiful. 
beautiful. So clean. I need to learn more adjectives than just beautiful to describe a place, but it just is. What do I do? tried on the food tour were these local dumplings we had green bean as filling for the veg ones and shrimp for the non veg ones and it honestly just tasted okay but what we tried next ended up being the star for me from the entire food tour it's called ban can and it was basically fried eggs with raw papaya salad and some more salad and you can dip it in chili sauce and who could tell this combination would taste so well <laughs> This is a local dumpling, and on on the top they have a some soup on the top, okay. And this name in Vietnamese is bánh bèo, okay. One bowl is five thousand dollars, okay. And in English they have a no name; they just have a bèo, okay. That's it. And this is the snack. And when you hungry, you can eat fifteen like it. If you really hungry, okay. Normally they have a sugar already, but the the guy from Vietnam he do one less sugar already. Now we just have a no sugar, okay. What's this called? Bang bell. Bang bell. This is a magic from Pony. Black sesame me and live in Chiang Island. It's really healthy for our street food tour. This is the best. Oh. That's new tea, okay? It's quite sweet because with honey. But it's really healthy for the people have a stomach problem. Okay? Very gooey. <laughs> it looks like a clay mask, <laughs> but it's sesame seed made of sesame seed. Very uh, healthy. Sea man. So the cycling tour is over. The street food tour, and it was really, really good. I recommend if you're a solo traveler, I highly recommend. Like, look no further and stay at this hostel in Hoi An. It's called Cheerful Hoi An Hostel for a reason. The host here is so so nice. One of the nicest people that people I've met in the hostel, and she doesn't charge you anything for the tour. Just the food that you buy, just the food that you eat, you have to pay for that. And you get a cycle, you get a guide, you get a local guide who, you know, takes you to different places, makes you try the local food, tells you about them. What more can you ask for when you're in a different country, especially when you're traveling solo? So I highly recommend this hostel, and uh, we tried a bunch of different dishes, honestly, and everything was good, and it was just getting better and better. And the last noodle dish that we tried, which is a very, very famous dish here, which is the cow lao, and I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing it incorrectly right now, but the pronunciation here is so difficult. It was the best. I'm gonna have it again. It it was so soulful is the word for that dish. And a food tour is over. I feel like in Hoi An, the time has been so nice. We've seen the festival, the cultural side, the food, the culinary side. Yeah, let's see what else there is to see. <laughs> okay, so very randomly and spontaneously, I signed up for a motorbike tour here in Hoi An, and here there are many tours here, which just makes travelers life very easy so basically hostel se hum char log ja rahe hain motorbike pe baith ke different view points different cliff points different beaches even some temples we have some points of interest near hoi an near danang and let's see what how that turns out to be honestly this is very random very spontaneous and maine zyada research nahi ki in jagahon ke bare mein but i just thought that i have a free day in hoi an why not use it for a tour so let's go and let me show you around And I have uh, two options to visit the mountain by elevator and by steps. So what do you guys want? I'm cool with the elevator. I'm cool with the elevator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
So good day, elevator. So you will buy the ticket. It's uh, fifteen thousand dollars for one. Oh. What do you feel about this place? It's cool. I really like it. I like that we can see the bats because usually we can't. Oh, the <laughs> <It's> bats! <very hot. laughs> yeah, it is. So, we have the booking key, the guide, and we have to say that we have to go to the points. There are 2, 3, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 9, 10, 11. So, that's what we are following. Some temples, pagodas, some caves. Okay, so we are exploring the Marble Mountains and it was very first when people used to get marble from here now it's prohibited because it's too dangerous which is why it's called Marble Mountain is what I know and here we are randomly exploring some temples, some caves, some viewpoints speaking of a viewpoint, we were at this beautiful viewpoint Heaven Gate is called Heaven Gate and there was a whole sea and city view ka view tha. It was just beautiful and I think it was worth climbing the hundred stairs <laughs> that we climbed to reach there. It was. stop at Lanco Beach and here we are going to Haiwan Pass and this trip was honestly a very 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 good decision and I'm going to speak more about it when the audio is better because there's karaoke going on here which you can hear in the background which is exactly what I like about this place here the vibe hai, people are enjoying doing karaoke singing songs dancing to it and this just feels very good to see it and there are cute dogs you can play with at the beach It's the perfect place to relax and just just relax honestly. I feel like if you are in Da or Hoyan, then you should do this tour and do it on a tour bike. It will be more fun on a bike. If you can't go, you can book through Easy Riders. You can book a bike tour and yeah. Here's Than with me who is uh, riding the motorbike so thank you so much had a really good tour we're having a really good tour so yeah. where are we heading next after the most spray yeah so after here now we're driving to La Ang Lagoon to see how the local people here they're growing the oyster okay and that one is also the best oyster I have in my life oh wow mm. so let's go to the oyster farm yeah. and Wow. Mm -hmm. 
the farmer here they use the motorbike tie on the road we're driving you can see have a lot of tie on the roadside so that is material the farmer here they use for growing oyster so when they begin they use the motorbike tie and then they dip in the water and you can see in the lagoon have a lot of stick yeah. so that is the stick to keep the tie under the water and depend on what size of oyster they want to have us so we, from five months until two years Wow, yes. two years underwater. Yes, two wow. years under the water. We are still alive! <laughs> Good job, thank you so much. Hey, do you want to say something about why Vietnam is so beautiful and so diverse? So uh, guys, if you have a uh, time to your vacation, you should to come to Vietnam because in all country you can see we have an ocean, we have a lagoon, we have spring, we have a mountain. So that is the most beautiful country <laughs> in my life. Wow. I can live here for all of my life as well. So I don't need to like move to another country because here is my hometown. You can see the cloud at the morning. You can see the sunset or the sunrise. <laughs> That's okay, thank you. <laughs> Come on.